Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Welcome back into the Motivated Mompreneur podcast. I am joined today by Tiffany Lewis, and we are talking all about mom life and business and just navigating all of the things here. So Tiffany, welcome into the podcast. Thank you, Amy. So excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, it's my pleasure. So before we dive in today, can you share with us more about yourself, who you are and what you do? Yeah. So hi, everyone. I am Tiffany Lewis. I am a mom of three, wife of one. I always like to plug that in there. Um, We live in a progressive society. So um, I have three kids. They are ranging in ages 12 to 8 or 12 to nine. Yeah, I think that's how old they are now. (laughs) Um, And I um, have lots of things going on in the background besides mom life and wife life. So I am an owner of two businesses. One is a copywriting business where I focus on digital marketing copy for um, female entrepreneurs, mostly in the online coaching space. And I have a stationary company that... um, mostly sells planners, sticky notes, notepads, and notebooks. Um, And I currently have a full-time job. So just doing all the things and um, trying to manage and juggle it all. Uh, I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia, and I currently reside in the Maryland, greater Washington, D.C. area, um, where I've been for about 17 years. So this is more like home now. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So you have a lot of things going on, which a lot of mompreneurs do, you know, especially when we're first starting out and growing our businesses, we have a lot of different things we're navigating. In addition to being a mom, a spouse, a caregiver, like all of these roles we play and then add in running a business, it's a lot. So how do you navigate your busy life? How do you Create space so you're not constantly burnt out because any one of those things is a full-time job in and of itself. Add in the businesses and yeah, it's a lot. So how do you navigate that? That's true. And that's such such a great question. And honestly, it's taken me a really long time. I feel like I go in phases of like getting very overwhelmed with one part of my life and then figuring out how to regroup and move on. Um, and so it's taken me a long time, but I've finally, um, gotten to a place where I prioritize like self-care mostly through routines. Um, and you know, it doesn't always look the same every day and some, you know, some seasons I totally miss the mark, but just prioritizing things like Um, waking up a little earlier, um, you know, when I'm feeling like doing that, or making sure that I find some time after the kids are off to school to like have to myself to to read. Um, My faith plays a huge role in my day to day and my life. So making sure I have some time to like study devotional, um, making sure I have time for exercise, whether that's like a 15 minute walk after I get the kids off to the bus or whether that's, you know, sitting and having coffee for 30 minutes and just like looking outside. <laughs> um, yes, yes. Really, really prioritizing, um, you know, taking care of myself and making sure I have time to do the things that bring me joy and do the things that kind of set my day up for success. Um, and for me, that's just finding quiet time and also being very, very planned. So one reason why I started the stationary company is because I know that I'm not the only woman who's juggling all the things. And it's really hard to get into a routine, but I find that when I write things down and I can like take my day into bite-sized chunks, that it's helpful for me to, to stay motivated and to actually accomplish all the things that I have to accomplish. Um, so just really prioritizing those self-care moments and prioritizing planning 
Um, and just finding moments in my day where I can, you know, have some time to myself to do the things that I like to do. Oh my gosh. I love that because, you know, I like planners are my love language. Like I, I still have a paper planner because it works for me. I don't know for me getting those 50,000 thoughts that are constantly swirling around in my head out of the head and onto paper there's something freeing for me about that so yes i love my planner like it is i'm lost it's like my brain so if i don't have it i don't know i'm just yeah, bouncing around like at this point in life if i don't write it down it yes. like goes somewhere in the abyss like i don't remember it i have no clue and i literally you know i have my notes in my phone are full of things my planner's full of things i have a million and one sticky notes all over the house. So mm -hmm. right, exactly. <laughs> you have to write it down. That just it works. It sticks, you know, into your brain. Right, exactly. And it's finding that system that works for you. You know, for you and I, planners work great. For other women, it may be that they like everything being on their phone. For me, I'm a very visual person. So I to me, seeing little dots on my phone tells me nothing. I'm like, I don't know what that means. I'm not sure what these dots are but i like to just be able to see everything at a glance i've even got things color coded maybe i'm a little like ocd Ooh, with no, it I color code everything too that's it's yes. like the way of my life <laughs> like yes, but it lets me like function yeah. but that works for me so knowing what system works best for you i think is key as a a mom as a business owner in any of the roles you're playing lean into what's working I and mean, even when i made the transition from full-time um healthcare provider into full-time entrepreneurship you know that was a gradual change but the more time i got the more i actually had to set myself on a schedule because that's how i worked for the past 16 years is i was given a schedule and i had to follow the schedule so i had to make myself a schedule like i legitimately like to get anything done i had to put myself on a schedule so really being intentional and then the other thing you mentioned too was just the figure it out mentality because i think it's easy to just get stuck in that that cycle where we're so overwhelmed because there's so much to do but when you kind of flip that mindset to okay let's figure this out this yeah. is a problem we solve let's figure it out. We are amazing at that as moms, as women, as yeah. business owners, like all of these things, we figure it out no matter what pops up. You know, you have a kid that decides to get sick on a day that you have 20 other things planned out. We figure it out. Like we're awesome at that. Yep. No, that's, that's a key. And that was a huge mind um, set shift for me when I decided to kind of like, you know, just trust the process, let things go that I can't control and live in the moment, be present in the moment, be intentional about the moment um, and just, you know, go from there. So that's huge. That's super important. Um, I think a few years ago I read um, is it Marie Forleo's Everything is Figure Out? Yes, yes. You know what? I'm actually rereading that as yeah. we speak. I have it too. I love it. Love it. Yeah, it's, per it's like perfect. And it, it, it is, it's like life, right? Like what can you do with the things you can't control? You can only um, control what you can and you have to, you know, be very intentional about being present in, that, in those moments and doing what you can and figuring out to make it work to make it the best situation possible. Exactly, and especially as a mom, that's so important. And something else you mentioned too, is just the different seasons of life and knowing that if you have toddlers at home, the way you're running your business is going to look different than the way you and I are running our business now that we have children that are in elementary school, in middle school, you know, now I have more flexibility of intended focus but you know for me the chaos starts when the kids get home all the activities are happening yep. you know it's yep. really learning to be strategic about the season of life that you're in because what works for you and i may not work for the mom that only has nap time to focus on growing her business or has to wait until evenings when another caregiver for her child is present uh, it's just again learning to embrace those seasons of life because it's it's always changing 
always Constant. like life ebbs and flows just like you know water the ocean and you really have to um kind of recognize what those seasons are and how things ebb and flow and you know just like you said where you are in that season what your um, environment is like and 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 lean into what you can do during that time so when I first started my business my kid I think my youngest was four um, and I was teaching, I was, you know, in working in a school, like <laughs> it was very chaotic, <laughs> mm -hmm. but, and I had to make a plan to, you know, I worked during my lunch break, like, because that's the time yeah. that I had, um, you know, the mornings were wild with toddlers and then I'd go to school and teach other people's children all day. Um, and then come home and deal with my own kids. So I really, my time was very limited and I had to be super focused and intentional about that time. Um, and like you said, as they've gotten older, you know, that's changed a lot. I don't have to wake up at four in the morning and try to, you know, do client work or stay up past, you know, midnight to try to do client work. Um, I can be very, um, focus during the day but then when they come home I know we have like soccer and basketball and karate and all these things um and so my time after three is very limited you know so exactly and I love that just being intentional and focused because that's that's exactly the way I built my my first business was during my lunch hour you know, I had this hour of time. I'm like, okay, I'm not at home. I have no other responsibilities or priorities right now. What can I focus on? What are those tasks that I need to do that I can move the needle forward, that I can take the next step and the next step? And those big, scary goals, break those down into as small of goals as you need. I think so many times we get stuck in analysis paralysis of, Oh my gosh, I've got this big scary goal and I don't even know where to start. Da, 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 da. Take one step. Yeah. Just do the next step. best thing. And then the next. And then the next. And it gets easier. Yeah. Yes. Like a snowball, right? Like it you dies. Do the thing and then it builds and it builds. And then finally you've broken that um goal down. I had a coach, my very first coach, and that she was very big on like taking your big goals and breaking them down into very, very small chunks. And that's how I taught too. Like you know, you have a goal where you want your students to be at the end of the year. They're not going to be there on the first day of school. So like, what are the, you know, five to 10 things you need to do to get them there? Um, and that's always how I like run my life. <laughs> like not just, but you know, when I set my goals at the beginning of the year in January, I'm like, okay, cool. By December, I want to be here. But what are the like, you know, and if, even if it's not five to 10 things, maybe it's like the three to five things that I need to do to get to this goal, like how can I break that down throughout the year to get there? Um, and that's what you have to do um, when you're trying to balance all the things. Like what are what's my big goal and what are the you know little baby steps that I can take to get there? So I think yes. that's very important. Yes, it really is. And then the last thing I wanted to touch upon too was that you are intentional about making time for you because as moms, we tend to push ourselves to the back burner. Mm -hmm. But when you are burnt out, stressed out, overwhelmed, you're not going to be able to show up fully for your family. You're not going to be able to show up fully for your business. It's going to make everything so much harder. So just even taking those little pockets of time and do something like take a walk, like you said, you know, reground yourself give yourself like pour back into you because uh, it's it's a, an analogy that everybody's heard but you can't pour from an empty cup and unless you have something in you to give you're you're going to be just treading water and burnt out so so important and i know that's hard for like thinking back to when i had little you know really little my kids are all two years apart right so at one point i had three five and under or whatever, four and under, I guess, um, it was tragic. And I'm like, where do I find time, you know, right. for myself, but even if it's start small, right. So yep. back to small chunks, even if you can't find 30 minutes or 15 minutes, maybe you can find three minutes where you're sitting in silence in a room in your house, or you're, you know, reading two pages of a book because 
reading was something that you identified with before kids. So just think about like what brought you joy before kids and before you were a spouse, like who are you at your core? Um, and think about those activities and find a way to incorporate those things back into your life, even if it's just for, you know, two, two minutes, three minutes, and then you can build up the next week. Maybe you can add a couple of minutes and make it five minutes into your day. Um, and then eventually you'll get to a place as your kids get older or as your environmental, you know, things change where you can add more time and do more of those things. So start amazing. Small, don't forget about yourself. That's like my biggest takeaway to moms and mompreneurs is just do not forget about yourself. <laughs> Yes. So important. And a message that we can't hear enough because we forget, we get busy and we legitimately don't make the time for it. So Tiffany, this was an amazing conversation. Where can we learn more about you? Um, you can find me on Instagram. I have a couple of Instagrams. Um, one is Tiffany Lewis Propels and the other one is taylorandjesse.co. Um, I hang out on Instagram a lot. I'm also on Facebook under those same names. But um, if you really want to get down and chat with me, then follow me on Instagram. So good. And until next time, stop dreaming and start taking messy action. You've got this. Are you loving what you're hearing? Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. 